The main functions of the fluidic system are to transport particles in a fluid stream to the laser beam for interrogation, position the sample core in the center of the laser beam, With hydrodynamic focusing, the sample core can be maintained within the center of the sheath fluid. In this flow cell cross-sectional view, click each component to learn more. The pressure of the sample fluid can be adjusted to increase or decrease the diameter of the sample core. The sheath fluid surrounds the sample core these fluids do not mix as they pass through the flow cell. The shape of the flow cell enables hydrodynamic focusing. In some cytometers, the laser beams pass through the flow cell to interrogate the sample. In cytometers such as the BD Fax Conto or the BD Fax Caliber system, the sample stream is pressurized upward through the flow cell. Within the cuvette flow cell, where particles are interrogated by the laser beam, is called the interrogation point. In cytometers, such as the BD Fax Aria system, the sample stream flows downward through the cuvette flow cell, is interrogated by the laser beam in the cuvette, and eventually exits through the nozzle tip. The sample pressure must always be greater than the sheath pressure. The sample pressure can be adjusted to increase or decrease the width of the sample core, which can increase or decrease the sample flow rate or events per second. A wider sample core can increase the event rate because it allows more cells to enter the stream within a given moment. With a wider sample core, some cells could pass through the laser beam off-center and intercept the laser beam at a less than optimal excitation intensity. Thus, higher sample pressure can decrease data resolution. The sample pressure settings in BD cytometers are adjustable via controls on the instrument, controls in the software, or both. When the sample pressure is low, the sample stream is narrow and the event rate is low. When you increase the sample pressure, the sample stream widens and the event rate increases. Did you notice that the speed of each individual event remains constant despite the varying sample pressures? Reflect on what you have learned in this module. What are the main functions of the fluidic system? What is hydrodynamic focusing? How does sample pressure affect flow rate and data? Click Next to take a quiz. Now that you have completed this module, you should be able to. Describe the functions of the fluidic system. Explain hydrodynamic focusing. Describe how sample pressure affects flow rate and data resolution.